Hey guys, and welcome to the invoice template. This is gonna be a super fast one and it's super easy to use, I promise you. Now, we've all written an invoice at some point in our lives. And I wanna show you how you can easily do this with Excel and also automate it to a very large extent. So let's have a look at the data. Now, we're using three support sheets this time and just one analysis sheet, which is gonna be our invoice. So let's start off with the first sheet, which is the own company data. In here, we track all relevant information about our company. What's our name? Where are we located? What's our phone number and email address? And what is the VAT that we charge? This is very important for the calculation later on. We can also bring in some payment details. Now this is of course, again, very dependent on your geography. In Europe, we would be using the IBAN, but in the US, this is not so common, right? So. Make some adjustments here as you see fit. Then at the same time, what you may have are discounts that you grant to your customers. You can essentially maintain them right here, but if you do not have any discounts, don't worry about it. Just leave them as they are. So next sheet is gonna be the product portfolio. In here, we have some generic products that we charge, or that we sell, and we have the net price excluding VAT. Make sure you maintain this information every single time because this will later translate into drop-down lists and the net price will of course also come automatically to the invoice later on. Last step will be the customer data. Here, consider this as a customer database. You bring in the customer name, if you have any contact person, where they're located, city, state, zip code, country, phone, email address, basically everything you need to know about your customers, right? Just bring them in here and you will see later on that these also translate into the different drop-down lists. So now that we've looked at the three support sheets, let's look at the actual analysis. It's right here in the invoice. So our company is called Invoice Design and we're sending an invoice to customer C, yeah, Lauren Fisher. Our company details essentially stay the same. The date right here is set to today, but of course you can change this as you see fit. And then what you can do is you change the quantity of a product and you basically just define how many times you've sold it. The price per unit, this is gonna be the net price excluding VAT, will adjust automatically because it's just a formula, a VLOOKUP referring to the product that you've defined. It's gonna give you the total price I change the quantity here the price is of course going to change and in the end I'm left with a subtotal right here I have VAT coming on top 12% again this is what we've defined in the support sheet own company data and we have the possibility to apply a discount if we wanted to then in the end we have our grand total that we are actually asking our customer to pay this again is just a formula. So we're first deducting the discounts and then we're putting the VAT on top. Down here, we've specified the payment details. Now they're coming from us, right? This is again, just all on the own company data. And you have a selection for the payment due in. Now this is not so much a selection because I know that this varies every single time. I can suggest you one thing, either you change it manually every time you do it, or alternatively, you bring in an additional column on your customer data right here. Let's say you bring that in right here. Let's say payment terms, let's say 60, 30, 40. I'm also gonna make this a bit nicer. Instead of saying just the numbers, it should show me days afterwards. So now what I can do is I can bring in a formula saying VLOOKUP, look up for this customer on my customer data sheet, ninth column, false. And then this is gonna bring me, of course now I need to change this guy as well. This is gonna bring me the payment terms for that particular customer. Now if I were to change the customer right here, with the drop down list, this will adjust. You can decide as you wish, right? I mean, you can use a formula, you can leave it manually because I know that sometimes, depending on the, the business you're, you're in, those payment terms may also change 
So this is entirely up to you. But I've shown you how you can easily change it. And I hope that with that, you can easily create your invoices. By the way, if you decide to print this, this is gonna be, print, be printed out in the perfect format because I've set the print area such that it only copies the selected part right here. So go ahead and write out these invoices.